Here you have a rotary mower, and you may say, well, what's environmentally friendly about that? Well, in fact, this one really is about as good as it gets because it's powered by electricity. You see the cord, you follow it around, it goes up and connects to my house. And for about three cents per mowing, I can mow most of the front lawn. It burns a lot less fossil fuel. And it actually has a rotary mower. You can see down here what a good job it does cutting even the tall grass. So if you're going to go rotary, go electric. Now they have cordless models that you can use if you don't like dealing with the cord that'll run for about an hour on one charge. Now if I mow my entire area around my house I've got about three hours worth so I go with the corded model and I've gotten used to dealing with the cord. I'm going to give you a couple of pointers about that too. Now I bet you're thinking that a cord on a lawnmower is a recipe for aggravation and the first time I ever mowed my lawn with this mower I felt that way too. I was constantly tripping over it. But I actually found a very simple system that takes away a lot of the aggravation. And the key is to keep all the cord between the house and the outlet and the lawnmower. You don't ever want it on this side of the lawnmower, you've got to keep it on this side. Now you turn on the mower and I'll show you what I'm going to do. And when you go to turn it on, you see that I still have ear protection here. Now this is far more quiet than one of those gas mowers. Just listen. See that? It's actually quite quiet. You don't have to have this, but I use it anyway. Just put, pop them on, and here I go. So you see how easy that is? As long as you go in a straight line and mow in a straight line, the cord stays on this side and it's not a problem at all. Now you can't mow in a circle anymore around the whole lawn because you'll always be stepping over the cord like this. And you also run the danger of actually cutting the cord, which can short out your electrical system or worse yet, give you a shock. I wanted to make a quick point about the tire placement, whether you're using a real mower or a rotary mower. And you can see the previous track right here. And I'm mowing this grass. Well, the good rule of thumb is to overlap by about the width of the tire track. That way you're sure that all areas of the lawn are being cut. If you try to stay right in the tire track, sometimes you're going to miss a spot. So I like to err on the side of overlapping by, again, the one width of a tire. You remember this tall area on my side lawn that I only mow about once a month and my real mower just kind of plowed it over and didn't really cut it? Well, the good thing about a rotary mower is it's perfectly capable of mowing through grass that's 8 inches, even 12 inches tall without any problem. And here on the side lawn where I don't really care about the appearance of my grass, that's fine if I just want to cut it from 12 inches down to 3 inches all in one cut. It'll brown out a little bit, but it'll come back and I don't really care if it browns out a little bit. Now out here on the front lawn, where I really do care about the appearance and the health of the grass, there's an important rule of thumb to remember. Never mow off more than one third of the grass plant at any one time. That means that if your lawn is six inches tall, you can only cut it down to four inches on that first mowing. If your goal is to keep it at three, well mow it down to four inches on the first day, come back a couple of days later after it's recovered and mow it down to three inches. If you go from six inches to three all in one day, your lawn may very well brown out or actually turn a little bit yellow. It'll be in a weakened state. Weeds, insects, diseases have a chance to then jump in. To keep your lawn looking nice and evenly green and healthy, remember the one-third rule. 